Hey team, welcome back for the third installment of Day Senpai Andrew's Muay Thai Grappling Tips. The last few weeks we've been reviewing and looking at how to maintain that strong top lock position using our elbows to block and guard. Last week we had a look at what to do if our attacker is working a really strong defence and get us into that nice high arm lock position. Well, it's all good, well and good learning about how to get to these positions, but what if you're the person that gets stuck in there as well. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to get Luke to work that nice strong top lock. I'll be the person working the defence. As I defend, he's going to tap that arm, and you can see here that I'm in quite a, quite a bad spot. The first thing I need to be able to do is create a bit of space between our bodies, and that's going to really create some room at the top here as well. Step out with my rear leg, and I'm going to bring my hips away, which is going to force a bit of a gap between uh, Luke's grip that he's got around my neck. As I do this, I want to step and pivot as if I was working on a turn, and do three sharp pull downs with my arm. One, two, three. And this will bring me into a nice, strong bridging position. My arm is extending and pointing along the back of his neck. From here, I can work some really strong knees to the body. Depending on the rules, we've got knees to the face and elbows there as well. So just have a look one more time. My attacker's coming with that strong top lock. I'm trying to work that defense, but he's worked against it. Again, I want to create that space with my body by stepping to the angle and turning my inside leg to the outside. Remember, I can't just do this in one strength movement, but I've got to keep it sporadic. Keep him guessing, keep his body guessing with what my body's doing as well. So step and three sharp pulls. One, two, three, all the way down. You may have to do more, depending on the strength of your partner as well. And from there, I'm extending across the back of the neck. I can lock onto the shoulder, secure his arm by pinning my ear to my shoulder. And from there, I can knee to the body, knee to the face, if the rules allow. Same with those nice short elbows to the side of the jaw there. Thanks again for checking it out team. I've got one final bonus technique, but you'll have to wait till next week to check it out. Thanks for watching.